Hey guys, it's Elise. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, this video is going to be all about golden hour and how to get the perfect makeup and not only that, tips and tricks for how to actually achieve the perfect golden hour photo. It can be a little bit tricky, you know? Golden hour definitely seems like something that doesn't take much effort. You'd be surprised to see that there's a little bit more that goes into it, especially if you are intentionally trying to get a golden hour photo because you have to plan what time of day you're going to go out and get the photo and obviously what makeup works best for it. But sis, that is what I'm here for. So guys, if you want to see how to get this makeup, then of course, please keep watching and also make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video because I am going to walk you guys through some of my tips and my tricks to how to get the perfect golden hour photo. So of course, if you are interested in all of that, then please keep watching. All right, y'all. So I'm parched. Hold on. Okay, guys. So jumping right in i have you hella zoomed in right now or as zoomed in as i can possibly get you this look is so simple you guys i promise it really takes very little effort to get this look done and even though it's simplistic it just photographs so beautifully especially when it comes to golden hours so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with skin i really want that to be the primal focus of this whole entire look with golden hour i do feel like it really does emphasize and highlight your skin so you really want to make sure that you're paying attention to that so the first thing that i'm going to do is just take the embryo Lease La Cream Concentrate. So I love this. I've been using this for years and whenever I used to take clients, this used to be my favorite moisturizer. I love this because even though it is a moisturizer, it also has a built-in makeup primer. A lot of times whenever I do use this, I do go ahead and skip primer, but just for the purpose of this video, I won't be because I want that extra illuminated skin. So I am gonna double prime, but I love this as a moisturizer because my makeup sits so beautifully on top of this. And even though I am oily combo, this does not make me oily and greasy throughout the day. I already have my brows on. Brows just take me a lot longer than I want them to. Um, and a lot of times, I just like to skip it because I just feel like it's such a redundant step and it just takes me forever. So if I could save the time, I will. So now that the moisturizer is on and it's set, what I'm going to do for primer today is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So I have been loving this primer for years. It's definitely my go-to whenever I feel like I want a little bit more illumination in my skin, but I don't want it to be too over the top. I don't use this super often just because I am oily combo and I can only have this on for about three, four hours before my skin starts to just look really really greasy but I love the fact that I still do get a solid four hours out of my skin without it looking crazy because any other illuminating primer that I try to go in with before my skin will just last like an hour tops and then after that I'm looking absolutely crazy and very greasy so I love that this keeps my skin in check it keeps my pores in check and it allows me to really have that glowy experience as an oily girl um, without looking crazy for a good amount of hours I just rub this in my t-zone area here and I just kind of push it into my skin because this does have pore covering properties in it. It's nice and this is typically where I do have the bulk of my pores. So one of my favorite foundations, especially for the summertime, to make my skin feel like skin, look like skin, but still have that extra coverage while not being too heavy, is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. Now I have been loving this since last year. This does have built-in SPF of 50. I am in the shade 220 Natural Beige. You guys, if you're looking for a really good foundation for summertime, this is it right here. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of this. I'm just gonna work this into my skin. I will do one side at a time just so you guys can see how beautiful the finish of this foundation is take your time when you're doing this when you rush the skin process usually you can tell especially in photographs if we're talking golden hour you're probably looking for a nice picture whether it's for yourself or for the gram really just don't want to rush this process because the sun in golden hour is very intense and is really really going to give away if your skin is looking crazy and yeah you can put filters over it you can edit your skin whatever but it is always better if you don't have to guys here you have it this is one side of my face with the foundation and obviously the side without it you can see my discoloration a lot more of my redness here on the side of my face without the foundation but you guys like i said it feels like skin and honestly looks like skin you can still see my freckles through and i just love this foundation so yeah i cannot reiterate that enough if you're looking for a good summer foundation look no further right, i'm going to be taking the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer this is one of my favorites from the drugstore i'm just going to take a tiny little bit of this under my eyes conceal any darkness even though i don't have much right now 
because I know I want to take photos I just want to make it look as best as I can Since I'm oily I can't skip this step I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Cody airspun loose face powder this is definitely my jam has been my jam for years I'm gonna take some of this good stuff here and I'm just gonna put that on my under eye area just to prevent any creasing if you don't get creasing on your under eyes or on your eyelids then you can totally skip the step but because I know myself and I know my face I just cannot skip this step. We obviously want to add dimension into our face because we're looking a little flat flat right now. So I'm taking the Morphe Brontor. This is just like a dual bronzer here. I love this. I've been using this since last year and it's definitely one of my favorites. I'm just going to use this to kind of zhuzh up, add some warmth to my face. Before I move on to blush, I'm just going to take a quick detour at the eyes because this is going to be so simple. Eyes, and I'm going to hit my crease with a little bit of the bronzer, this side of the bronzer, the one that's matte. And I'm just going to apply it to my crease. This is just going to add a little bit more dimension to my eye. And I've always been such a fan of just applying whatever bronzer I'm using to my eyelids just to kind of keep that cohesion. And that way I won't have to worry later on about whatever crease shade I'm going to be using. Now I'm just going to grab the Juvia's Place Warrior Palette and I'm taking this shade right here which is called Moremi, Mo Moremi right here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my eye really. You want to use some sort of a champagne shade or some sort of a golden shade just because that really reflects so nicely off of the tones of golden hour against your eyes. Really this takes no technique you guys. You just kind of want to pat that into your eyelid and you want to put it in your inner corner again it just reflects nicer I'm just gonna go in with lashes real quick and I'm gonna keep it extremely simple just because when it comes to lashes and looks like this where they're not too heavy they're not too intense and I really don't want to draw any attention away from my face and my skin and my eyes I'm gonna be using the Ardell Wispies just because they're my go-to they're easy to apply they're comfortable and they don't hide anything that I have going on on my eyes which I appreciate especially because I have hooded eyelids and it really doesn't take much to hide whatever makeup I have on and these are definitely perfect for a eyelash but better type of situation which is definitely what I'm going for so I'm just gonna pop these on real quick and I will be right back Let's finish up the rest of my face and that just includes adding a little bit of blush and just some highlighter for blush today I'm using the Milani baked blush in a luminoso I love this blush because it's definitely one in OG and two it's that peachy shade that just goes with so many skin tones and has like built-in golden reflex which just looks so beautiful against the sunlight so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Alright, so now for the fun part, you're going to want to use highlighter, okay? Now, however much highlighter you want to use is completely at your discretion, whatever you feel comfortable using. Because I'm doing a golden hour shoot, I do really want to go hamski with my highlighter, whereas on another typical day, I probably would completely skip highlighter altogether. But obviously, you just can't expect to do golden hour without some sort of highlight on. I mean, it just doesn't even make sense. Highlighter and golden hour is like... A match made in heaven so so you can totally go with a liquid highlighter if that is your preference but for today I'm not gonna be doing that I'm gonna actually go in with my artist couture highlighter this is definitely one of my favorites because it just catches the sunlight so beautifully and it's just so finely milled it doesn't have like these chunky glitters in it and it's just it's a beautiful highlight but you really don't need much of it because it's just like wow very in your face let's take a little bit of this on my highlighting blush brush whoa what happened here if you want a highlight that is definitely more subtle, like your skin glowing from within type of thing, just go in with the Illuminator Without Powder Highlight. And I'm just kind of putting this on key points of my face, the tip of my nose, my cheekbones, my chin. And always remember, you want to highlight the areas that you want the sun to reflect off of. If you don't like the size of your chin, if you don't like your nose, do not highlight those areas because... Anywhere that you put this, it is going to bring it forward. Also, lastly, for lips, for liner, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Sugar and Spice Liner. And then after that, I will be topping it off with my Fenty Lip Gloss. If you're going to do Golden Hour, definitely go with gloss. Preferably one with small little shimmers in it like this one. I promise you guys, it's going to make your lips look amazing and it's just going to make all the difference. 
24 hours later. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the perfect golden hour photo. Obviously, perfect case scenario is you'll catch it when you catch it and you can just take your photo, but if you're actually planning a golden hour pics, there's a couple of things that are really going to facilitate and make your life so much easier if you're actually trying to aim for a golden hour photo. They look pretty on the gram and they're just pretty photos in general to just really enhance the features of your face and really play off nicely with your makeup. I meant to do this yesterday after I finished my makeup, which was the makeup that you guys just saw. It's the same makeup that I have on my face right now. I purposely did the same exact makeup. I just changed my hair up. After I filmed the video yesterday, I got extremely caught up. Something else came up, couldn't leave my house. By the time I could, it was already dark, so I had missed golden hour. So the first rule of thumb whenever you're going for golden hour is know the time of golden hour. So golden hour usually is time of the day where the sun has this nice orangey kind of reddish type of hue it's beautiful and it really plays off nicely against your makeup not only that but it's the time where the sun is a lot more forgiving it really allows you to look into it without blinding yourself basically golden hour typically happens the first hour after sunrise you can wake up really early to take a golden hour photo or the last hour before sunset so the sun is set to set tonight at exactly 8 45 and it is currently 7 38 so i'm here at the park catching it right before it sets i'm gonna walk over to the area where i will take my photos just so you guys can see you guys see that view of the sun it's a perfect view it's actually nice because the trees cut nicely and it gives me a really great view of the sunlight which is perfect and it's exactly what i'm going for i'm gonna flip my camera over just so you guys can see exactly how it looks against my face i know it looks a little crazy right here you guys but this is actually the perfect golden hour because if you can see my eyes are exactly open facing the sun and it's not really bothering me and i can definitely still open my eyes whereas in the day normal noontime sun i would never be able to do this so when you are doing golden hour you just want to make sure that you point your camera facing you I see the Sun is directly behind the camera right here if you have a shadow you just want to play against the shadow you want to play with the angles of your face just to really catch your features that you want to highlight whether it's your lips with your lip gloss your highlight which is obviously a favorite your eyes always look really nice against golden hour you really just want to play with your angles until you get it try not to use a filter whenever you're taking a golden hour photo just because it's gonna make your life a lot easier if you don't have to deal with over editing against a filter or having to try to edit your filter out if you don't like it um, golden hour does have a very short window so you really want to take advantage of that last hour before sunset to get your golden hour photos here we go That is gonna wrap up how to take golden hour photos. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. What the hell was that? If you end up following my steps to get golden hour photos, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your photos. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.